Hello everyone, welcome to episode 11 of the Idle Game Maker tutorial series. In this one we are gonna cover everything about shinies. So, shinies are things that spawn randomly on the screen, linger around for a set amount of time, then disappear. So this is very similar to the golden cookie in Cookie Clicker. And shinies, like buttons, keep track of how many times they have been clicked. Now, shinies can also be spawned manually through various effect types. And it's also important to mention that shinies don't have tooltips, hence why descriptions are unnecessary with shinies. And they are declared in the shinies section. So let's talk a little bit about what shinies can be used for. So shinies are mainly used as production rewards and boosters for active play. However, you can make a shiny yield resources, buildings, upgrades, achievements, basically whatever you want with simple on-click effects. However, more complicated bonuses, like for example a production multipliers for a set amount of time after clicking a shiny, require more advanced idle game maker knowledge. However, for this we will have a standalone video in the future. Now shinies can also be used decoratively using the no click property. And of course the default shiny icon size is 48 by 48, however this can be changed with CSS. Now let's talk about the unique properties of shinies. So uh, the main one, uh, the really bread and butter of shinies are frequency and frequency variation. Of course duration as well, but that one is pretty self-explanatory. Now frequency might be a little bit more confusing than other properties we have covered so far. So for frequencies, think of them as a closed interval with this formula, uh, where the start point is the frequency that you set, and the end point is the frequency plus the frequency variation added onto it and in between this interval right the shiny can spawn or if you are less familiar with intervals you can maybe think of it like this where frequency is less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to frequency plus the added frequency variation and x is of course the possible time for the shiny to spawn so now let's move on to the movement property now i know it might look scary this huge wall of text but don't worry, this property is actually very, very self-explanatory. Everything that you need to know is located right here on the screenshot or in the handbook. So don't worry, definitely don't need to remember anything. Only thing I would kind of add is that on box, box key will make more sense after layouts are explained in a future episode. See that right here. And yeah, you can set where the shiny will spawn, how it will move. And you might also have noticed that sometimes in brackets there is a set custom speed with, for example, wiggle X, right? And this custom speed can be set with nested properties. For example, if you wanted your shiny to pulse, you would just do movement, pulse, 5. So now let's move on to sh some shiny examples. Now keep in mind that these are really just the bare minimum and can make way crazier effects with shinies. For example, you could have a shiny yield you between 10 and 100 gold upon being clicked if you have gold as your main resource in your game. However, maybe you don't want it to yield you a set amount of gold or a resource because, you know, 10 and 100 once you are further on in the game might as well just be zero. So, shinies can also yield you, for example, 3 minutes worth of your production or 10 minutes or, you know, hours of your production if you really so wish. And the way you do that is you have a resource, right? And you attach the PS selector to it. PS stands for production speed. And then you multiply that by the amount of seconds that you want to get from the shiny. So here we have 180 seconds. And this is in the random function, which means that this will yield you anywhere between 3 minutes of your gold per second or 10 minutes of your gold per second upon being clicked. Now also important to mention, since these shinies don't have a frequency variation, they will spawn exactly every 2 minutes because they have a frequency of 120 seconds. Now with shinies covered, let's move on to optional challenge. Now a little disclaimer, this challenge is probably the most difficult one I have given you so far, so don't worry if you get it wrong. But your tasks for this challenge are to add a shiny to the game, make it appear every 1-3 to three minutes, also is a little bit of a tip, make it appear often at first, so set the frequency to be low at first because this is useful for testing. And your third task is to have it yield you 2-5 to five minutes of your production per second upon being clicked. And your fourth task is to give it some movement according to your liking. So, give it a go, pause the video, let me know how it went in the comments. And this challenge has no hints, so good luck. Alright, hopefully you gave that a go. I will now guide you through the process of adding a shiny to our game. So, we want to add a shiny to our game, so let's begin by first adding the shiny section. Then let's add a thing key, name it Lucky Coin. And we don't even really need a name. 
so we won't be adding a name to our shiny for now we'll just focus on adding the on click property and making it functional so we need the shiny to give us between 180 seconds of our production per second up to five minutes of our production per second or uh, sorry i meant 120 seconds at first so we just type in yield and the random effect and here we do coins PS times 120 so this is 120 seconds which is 2 minutes up to uh, coins PS times 300 which is 5 minutes and we also need to add a frequency however since I'm going to be testing this very soon I'm going to add a very very low frequency of just 5 which means that at the moment the shiny will spawn every 5 seconds next up we need a movement so I already kind of tested this a little bit and I think this movement which I'm about to write in here works very nicely in our game. The shiny will basically be spinning around, growing and then shrinking and also pulsing at the same time. So we do the grow shrink, pulse with the speed of 1, bob vertical of 0.25 and a bob horizontal of 0.25. And of course we want the shiny to spawn anywhere on the screen so we just add the anywhere sub property. Next up, I know I said uh, that you shouldn't use has flares on anything else other than the big button class, but that was a mistake from my part. You can actually use it on shinies like this. So let's do the has flares. Of course, if you got this far with the frequency as well set correctly, congratulations, you did the challenge correctly. Now I actually want to test my code to see if it works. And I know I said that you don't need a name. However, you don't need a name if you add an icon. We don't have an icon yet, which means it wouldn't spawn without the name. So let's just add a temporary name of a lucky coin. Save our changes. And hit refresh in our game. Hopefully it should spawn in around 3 seconds. Ah, there we go. Alright, so this is our shiny. It has the movement that we set it. And right now we are making 1 coin per second. So we should gain anywhere from 180 coins to 300 coins. Or 120 coins to 300 coins. So, let's click it. And yeah, it appears we got around 190 coins, something like that. Click it again. Yeah, we got a lot. Alright, so it seems to be working. Let's now append the icon. So I want my shiny's icon to be sized 128 by 128 pixels. However, shinies are a little bit bugged in this regard, and it's that icon class doesn't work with them, so you cannot change their icon size in the same way as we did this. So what you do instead is you change one of the built-in IGM classes, and the way you do this is Almost the same as this, it's just that you don't append the class to the thing. This will just make sure that all shinies in our game will be sized 128 by 128 pixels. Now, I already prepared a an image that we can use. It's going to look like this. And it's also linked in the description. So if you want to use the same one as I will use here, feel free to check it out in the description and just copy and paste the link into the icon property as I will do right now. So icon, and there we go. Let's save our changes and see if this actually works. So hit refresh, wait a few seconds, and there we go. It's looking all right, but we forgot to remove the name. <laughs> and this is what happens when you forget to remove the name. So let's edit and remove the name of our shiny. Save our changes, hit refresh now. There we go. So this is our shiny now, which will be appearing every one to three minutes. So let's set that as well. So the frequency needs to be 60 and the frequency variation needs to be 120 and now it should be spawning every one to three minutes all right i'm not gonna wait around for it maybe we will see it in the future popping up randomly all right and yeah that should be pretty much it for this episode thank you very much for watching congratulations on making it this far i appreciate that you are sticking with me for this long so make sure to like comment and subscribe and if you really like what I do here, feel free to check out my Patreon, link is in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.